Hello everyone. My name is Shivam Jadav. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure RAID 1 and RAID 5 on Dell R740 model. I initially struggled to find any tutorials to how to get into the boot menu or you know the configuration menu to set up the RAID 5 and I thought maybe this would be uh, a helpful tutorial to like the people who are looking for the same thing and yeah let's get started the first thing uh, I'm accessing my Dell EMC and as you can see I have my power edge R740 model I'm trying to first load up the boot menu you can also do that by uh, clicking on F1 and F2 or F12 F2 or F12 sorry pardon and then uh, after you get the boot menu as you can see I'm, I'm on my uh, system setup I've clicked on the F2 button which takes me to the uh, the menu where we can click on uh, the configurations so let's give some time to it yeah the first thing you need to do click on the device settings yeah and then click on the RAID controller in slot 6 uh, so this RAID controller uh, for me is showing slot 6 might be different for you but uh, clicking on that will give you the menu for the controller give it a second after clicking on that as you can see we have the configuration menu and controller management and virtual management and all I want to click on the configuration management and the thing is we need to clear any previous configuration to set up a new one uh, that's for, for the safe side maybe there is already some RAID on, on your existing hardware uh, so I want to just clear any previous configuration so this will clear all the previous virtual disk and other configurations uh, before doing that I would suggest you to uh, take the backup of the existing hardware if you are if you don't want uh, you know uh, any hard disk information to be lost because I'm assuming you have a fresh slate that is fresh new SSDs or SGDs and you want to set up the RAID on it so clicking clear on clearing any configuration would of, of course and the and the next process as well would clear and wipe out the entire hard disk yeah so click on the confirm and then yes and click on the ok button and thank you you can go back now you can click on the configuration management again and then cl click on the create virtual disk here as you can see in this menu uh, it default choose to the RAID 0 as you can as you know the RAID 0 would be a you know a, it's a strip based the first RAID and you don't want that I, I mean I don't want that to use for now so I'm gonna click on it and then click on the RAID 1 uh, giving some uh, basics of RAID 1 setup so RAID 1 is uh, will do a mirroring basically if you have two volumes may, maybe each of one terabyte or maybe uh, one terabyte each uh, doing the RAID 1 on those two tests would shrink your total volume that is two terabyte divided by two which would be one terabyte so basically uh, you're copying your entire volume into two uh, you may basically having a copy of your entire disk right so one uh, disk is used to the volume the copy and the uh, one more used for the original data and i'm gonna click on the physical disk select physical disk so in this screen uh in this screen uh you might have a different like for me i don't have an, a hard disk like uh I, I have only ssds on my machine so it, it it's not showing me previously for the SSD it didn't show me any disk so when I click on the SSD it's gonna show me all the list of uh, uh, devices so I'm gonna click on that as you can see I have eight different uh, SSDs and I'm gonna for this video I'm gonna select 
the first two and as I already told you uh, selecting the, the first two or desk I'm choosing basically the RAID one on it and as I told you the total volume would be reduced to the half yes so I'm click on the apply changes and click on OK now we have done with selecting the disk now we can do its name this virtual disk anything I'm gonna go ahead and put raid1 underscore vd and as you can see the virtual size of the virtual disk is 893.75 although I've choose two of them but as I told you it shrunk down to a single volume size I'm going to click on the pass for the default initialization and click on the virtual desk create one and to confirm I click on the confirm and then yes click on ok yeah so now we have created a virtual desk we can go back uh, to the main menu which is the configuration management and then we can uh, click on the virtual desk to see that so click on click back and click on uh, the virtual disk management as you can see we have a single virtual disk with the raid on set up on it raid one now let's create one more virtual disk for the remaining six virtual disks which i have so you can click on create profile based the reason i chose uh, a create profile based was because this option gives me to choose an hot spare with a RAID 5 because while RAID 5 can handle one disk failure using parity bits, it runs in a degraded stage uh, until the failed drive is replaced. Uh, with a hot spare, this rebuilds or starts automatically, reducing downtime uh, and the risk of another failure before manual replacement. And this option was quite well, so I needed it and I chose this. Uh, create profile based option option that's why I choose that I'm gonna click on rate 5 for now and as you can see the total volume is 4.363 terabyte as I told you I have six uh, remaining it, it basically chose all the six and it's showing the combined uh, volume size but if you do the math each has 893.750 gigabyte and if you uh, sum it up it should be around 5.3 terabyte but uh, but since the raid 5 would give you a uh, fault tolerance as well meaning to say it uses something the technique called parity distribution and it will distribute the parities across the five uh, in this case six volumes but uh, since the parity also it's not free it needs to occupy some space right so basically it uses almost a one volume disk size so if you do the 5.3 terabyte which is the total actual original size and then uh, minus one volume size which is 8.93 you would get the 4.3 terabytes now i'm, I'm going to click on the create dedicated hot spare this option which i told you just now and click on the create virtual disk button to, to confirm and then click on confirm and yes I'm going to do that yes that click on ok now we can go back to the main menu and then click on virtual disk management yes now you can see we have two virtual disks uh, one has RAID 5 on it and other has a RAID 1 on it so the RAID 1 was set up on two disk and rate 5 was set up on the sys disk and the rate 5 also had one hot spare option now you can do is click on finish as you have done with all these changes and click on finish and finish yes and firm there you go so that's all for this video I hope this helped you understand Red5 and the importance of an hot spare and also uh, the configuration of R740 Dell. Uh, thanks for watching.
and this is my entropy is high shivam jadav see you in the next one